Well, good goddamn boy, uh, it's December 2020. What a friggin' year. Been up, been down, been all around, and we still end up here. 2020. What a year. <laughs> I, at times it seemed like this year would never end. At times it seemed like I blinked and it was almost over. And I guess that's what happens as you get older. Time does fly. Unless you're stuck in that minute, that second, then it seems to drag. And I remember as a little kid, it just seemed like every day took forever and years took forever and you just wanted the summer break. And the summer break flew, but the rest of the year it just dragged and dragged. And as the decades have passed, the, the, the years pass by like a blink of a fucking eye. It's like January this year, my son was born. Chiefs won the Super Bowl. Seemed like it would be the start of an awesome year. And it just seems like my son was born yesterday, and he's almost a year old. The way the time flows, the way the time flies, just keeps going. And this year was hard because couldn't really go out and do much, couldn't travel, couldn't go see friends because of the stupid virus. And then everyone hated each other for a while because of politics and elections at the end of this year and everything in between. And then on a personal level, you know, trying to get my mom through this year. Cancer is an evil son of a bitch that could just needs to go away. We need to find a cure for that. No one should have to go through what my mom's gone through these last few years. Losing a kidney, getting radiated on, going through chemo, getting basically poisoned. And I still don't think we're winning. I think the cancer is. This has been a hard year. You know, most of your life you think your parents are bulletproof, invincible, superman or superwoman. And you never think about they won't be there one day until you start seeing the wrinkles and the lines in their skin and you start noticing they're kind of frail and they just look small. And you see them in pain and you, that hurts. And you just, you start realizing how much you just figured they'd be there. When you start seeing them suffering, you slowly realize no one's promised a day. You start realizing you need to live each day like it could be your last. I could have a fucking aneurysm and drop dead while I'm talking to you. And that's the problem with a lot of society in the world. We keep looking forward to the tomorrows and we make plans for days, years down the road and we're not promised any of that. You know, we all think we'll live to be 85, 90. We always think we have more time. And you realize too late that you don't have more time. You get bitter. And I've known this for years. I've always told people, I'm not going to be on my deathbed and go, man, I worked a lot of hours and made somebody a lot of money. I've always known money's a construct we made. We don't really need it. But people have been brainwashed enough into the society to think we do. And I'm not dumb enough to think that I can live without it because everyone else in this world thinks you need it. So I go to work. But I work my 40 and I'm done. I don't do much more. I don't... I used to work two or three jobs. I learned that you can work 
a hundred jobs. You can work 24 hours a day, seven days a week for 350 something days a year. And you'll never have enough money. But you need to look back and think about the time you did have in this world. And when your time is coming to an end, you need to be at peace with what you did. You need to be at peace that, yeah, I might have not done everything I wanted in life, but I did enough. And I can rest now. I think that's why a lot of people get bitter in old age because they fell for the the lies of society that, oh, if you work hard enough and go to work every day and earn this money, you'll have a better life. You'll have a great life. You'll get to do the things you want. And most people don't. Most people go to work every day. Most people work their butt off and they never get enough. And they can never get enough to go on vacation and buy the things they need or want. So you just, I, I, I've learned that you need to be happy with what you got. And I'm part of this consumer society. You know, I, I still have my wants. I still like my video games. I still like my books. I still like my guitars. And, but I, I have realized those are so not necessary in the grand scheme of things. I, I, I don't know how to fix it. You know, I don't know how to fix this world. I can throw out a million ideas, but everyone's going to shoot them down because, well, we, we, you need money. Well, how about money becomes not this finite resource? We pay people enough to live, and then if you have a good, you know, if you, I'm not saying a custodian like I am should make as much as a doctor or a CEO as a company. I think we should all get paid more money. You know, we made it up. Why is, why is money scarce? We just print more off. Well, that creates interest and it makes the value go down. Why? We made this up. Money doesn't occur naturally in nature. It's an idea that we made up. Same with time. Time's an idea we made up. And we let these ideas rule our life. And when our time's running out, we realize we were stupid. <laughs> The only reason I say this, I've talked to enough people in my life that were facing the final years or months of their life, and it hit them. I wish I had done more, but I worked a lot. And I know we got families to take care of, so we need to make the money to pay the bills. It just... Take time for yourself. You'll never get ahead. They don't want you to get ahead. They want they want you in debt, so you are basically controllable. You can't take time off because someone's going to come after and take everything you own. I have no credit cards. I have no debt. I live on a cash diet. If I don't have the cash, I can't get it. And I think it made my life simpler. I, I don't owe anyone anything. I pay my bills. And I'm not in debt to anyone. So maybe a way for people to break free of the control of society is to not rely on it, to live within their means. I live very below my means. I, I save money. Because eventually I want to get out of this rat race. I'm sick of it. I don't want to do it anymore. You guys can have it. You guys can fight for money. I just want to have my little chunk of land and live off it till the day I die. What will you do all day? I'll play guitar. I'll read a book. I'll draw. I'll, I'll do whatever. I'll do what I want, not what I, I have to do. Anyway, it was a year. I hope I hope it gets better next year. I, can't, I, I mean, the only way it could get worse is fucking comets, meteorites, and aliens start coming down and enslaving us. <laughs> fucking 2020. What a year. The year isolation and depression took over the globe. Well, here's to better tomorrows, man. I love you, boyo. Be safe.